The mainline fleet of United Airlines is massive. With 950 aircraft at the time of this video's production, it's just slightly smaller than the mainline fleet at American, which currently boasts 967 jets. However, all of this will change over the next few months as more new aircraft arrive at the carrier. This video will examine the types and quantities of aircraft in the United Fleet, as well as go over changes that have taken place in the past two years. Let's get started. Fast approaching 1,000 jets, the mainline fleet of United Airlines, excluding the 445 regional aircraft flying under the United Express brand, includes six different aircraft families. With data coming from Planespotters.net accurate as of March 5, 2024, the types, their variants and quantities are as follows. From Airbus, we have 81 A319-100s, 89 A320-200s and 6 A321-NEOs. From the Boeing 737 family, there are 40 737-700s, 141-800s, 12-900s, 136-900ERs, 85 MAX 8s and 79 MAX 9s. Other Boeing jets are as follows. 40 757-200s, 21 757-300s, 37 767-300s, 16 767-400s, 19 777-200s, 55 777-200ERs, 22 777-300ERs, 12 787-8s, 38 787-9s, and 21 787-10s. As you can see, the mainline fleet heavily leans towards Boeing. Going just by airframes, United is 18.5% Airbus and about 81.5% Boeing. Of course, if we calculate by seats and capacity, then it's even more weighted towards Boeing, since United's wide-body fleet comes entirely from the US plane maker. Our last look at the fleet of United Airlines was in January 2022. Some sizable orders have been placed and deliveries have been quite steady. On the other end, a few dozen aircraft have been retired. On the retirement side, it appears that some 41 aircraft have been removed from the fleet since early 2022. The majority of these have been old narrow bodies. More specifically, 14 A319s were retired, as were 13 A320s and 13 737 700s. A single Boeing 767-300 was removed from the fleet in April 2022. The reason for this aircraft's removal was due to what Planespotters.net called extensive corrosion found during repaint. The site adds that the aircraft was removed as it was unviable to repair. When it comes to new aircraft delivered since our last fleet examination, we have the following figures. 69 737 MAX 8s were added, as were 49 MAX 9s. The A321neo is a new variant for United, with all six being delivered between late 2023 and early 2024. And finally, eight 787-10s were delivered between late 2022 and early 2023. With the airline continuing to take delivery of more of these aircraft, seemingly on a weekly basis, numbers will most certainly change quite fast. United has made the news several times over the past two years, mainly due to the placement of massive aircraft orders. The largest orders have sided with Boeing, although the carrier also ordered more narrow bodies from Airbus. As Simple Flying reported in December 2022, United Airlines announced a historic order hailed as the largest wide-body order in US history. This was a firm commitment for 100 Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft. The announcement also included options for 100 more 787s. The order failed to specify variants, allowing the airline flexibility to choose between the Dash 8, Dash 9 and Dash 10 as it adapts to market conditions. The same announcement included the conversion of 44 options for the 737 MAX to firm orders, while 56 more 737 MAX aircraft were ordered. 
October 2023 saw another exciting announcement from the airline. As noted by CNBC, United exercised purchase options for 50 additional Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners and committed to 60 more Airbus A321neos. United's Chief Commercial Officer Andrew Nocella offered the following comment to reporters at the time. We would not normally order jets this far out. Production lines, which are now regularly plagued by supply chain disruptions and delivery delays, are also increasingly sold out for the entire decade. United had previously ordered 50 A321XLR and 70 A321neo aircraft. The October 2023 order put the airline's direct purchase commitment from Airbus at 180 A321s. Again, this number of undelivered jets will continue to change as more deliveries come in. With six A321neos already delivered, that number is currently down to 174. United is clearly pinning its future fleet on the 737 MAX, Airbus A321neo and the Boeing 787. Unfortunately for the carrier, the Alaska Airlines incident on January 5, 2024, and the manufacturing issues it revealed, will impact United's delivery schedule. After grounding its 737 MAX 9 fleet for several weeks to conduct a thorough inspection process, United revealed that it was re-evaluating its commitments for the 737 MAX 10. This is due to increased scrutiny from the Federal Aviation Administration and a more than likely slowdown in the certification process for the longest member of the 737 MAX family. The crisis even prompted the carrier to consider more A321neos to replace this future order, although firm announcements have yet to take place. Nonetheless, a United Airlines government filing revealed that it is moving along with its fleet expansion without the MAX 10s. United had expected to receive 80 MAX 10s in 2024 alone, but now expects zero. Between 2024 and 2025, the airline was supposed to receive more than half of its MAX 10 order, but again, the figure has been reduced to zero. As can be seen in the footnote of the filing, the airline states, Due to the delay in the certification of the 737 MAX 10 aircraft, we are unable to accurately forecast the expected delivery period. If all goes according to plan for Airbus and the entry into service of its A321XLR, United will begin to take delivery of the new long-range narrowbody in 2025. As noted by one mile at a time, United will introduce an all-new Polaris business class seat for the aircraft. The airline will also install Premium Plus premium economy seats on the narrow body. Those premium cabins and the additional comfort will be useful for passengers willing to pay, considering these aircraft will be deployed on long-distance, low-volume routes across the Atlantic and Latin America. Another outstanding commitment that remains with Airbus is United's long-standing order for 45 Airbus A350-900s. An order that has been repeatedly deferred, it's now believed that deliveries of the wide body will begin in 2030. Some are doubtful that this will actually happen, although others just see it as strategic timing to replace older Boeing 777s. Along with hundreds of conventional commercial passenger aircraft on the order books, the airline is still expecting other new and exciting types in the years to come. As far as we know, the airline is still committed to ordering 15 Boom Overture supersonic aircraft, with options for 35 more. The entry into service for the Boom Overture is still set for 2029. The airline is still interested in operating electric aircraft. According to Hart Aerospace, the 200 ES-19s ordered by United Airlines and Mesa Air Group were reconfirmed in September 2022 but swapped to the ES-30 design. In June 2023, the San Francisco Chronicle noted that United Airlines was partnering with Eve Air Mobility to introduce an all-electric air taxi service from San Francisco International in 2026. It's difficult to know which of these orders will go according to plan, as we've learned from the past few decades of aircraft development, delays and disruptions seem to be a common occurrence even without major global health crises pausing progress.
So that's our update on the United Airlines fleet. It'll be interesting to see if United does indeed increase its commitments for Airbus narrowbodies due to Boeing's current issues, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. What do you think of United's current and future fleet? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.